All right, welcome back everyone. SpaceX has to wait at least another day before its historic launch at Kennedy Space Center. Last minute rocket trouble forced the company to scrap Saturday's mission. The unmanned Falcon rocket was set to carry out a cargo delivery to the space station. And the company now says its next earliest opportunity will be Sunday morning. And Bill Harwood is our CBS News space consultant. Bill, good to see you. Hey, good to see you. All right, SpaceX said it needed to take a closer look at an engine. What can you tell us about that? Yeah, it's interesting. They had a couple of problems early in the countdown. They got those resolved, and then at T-minus 13 seconds, uh, they called the scrub right before liftoff. The problem involves what they call a thrust vector control system. Uh, if you think about the rocket nozzle on a, on a spacecraft, they could push and pull on that nozzle to steer the rocket. So one of those hydraulic thrust vector control pistons wasn't in quite the right place on the second stage engine. So Elon Musk, the founder of SpaceX, decided, as he put it, why roll the dice? Let's get this fixed before we go fly. Yeah, better get it fixed. So once this launch is cleared for takeoff, what are they hoping to accomplish in the end? Well, it's kind of like what you said uh, coming into this. They've got uh, nearly 5,500 pounds of supplies and equipment on board, everything from environmental in instruments that will study the Earth's ozone layer, for example, map lightning around the world, uh, to a whole raft of medical experiments, including 20 mice that are going to be studied to learn about how drugs might be able to improve uh, healings of wounds. Uh, really interesting stuff on board. Uh, also, crew supplies, you know, there's clothing, there's food, there's spare parts. So it's something the station crew really needs, obviously. And so they're eager to get this thing off the ground and up to the space station. There's some history involved in the launch pad where this rocket oh, yeah. is expected to take off from. You're the expert, Bill. Tell us about it. Well, you know, Pad 39A and 39B were built back during the Apollo moon program. Apollo 11 took off from Pad 39A, the first moon landing. And, of course, the space shuttle Columbia took off from the same pad back in 1981 to inaugurate the shuttle program. And the program's last flight, the shuttle Atlantis, took off in July 2011. And that's the last time we've seen a launch off Pad 39A. Now, back in 2014, SpaceX signed a 20-year lease with NASA to take over 39A. They modified it for use by the Falcon 9 rocket. And, of course, this launch that hopefully is coming up Sunday uh, will be the first flight off that pad since the last shuttle mission. So everybody's very excited about that, seeing, seeing a rocket take off again from this historic launch pad. All right, Bill, again, good to see you, and thank you very much for joining us today.